Floyd Little, one of the most exceptional athletes in Syracuse history, called it the best decision of his life to come play for the Orange. Despite playing just three seasons, freshmen were not eligible to play immediately at the time, Little ranks sixth on Syracuse's all-time career rushing yards list with 2,704 yards. He totaled 46 touchdowns between 1964 and 1966. His 35 rushing touchdowns rank second to Walter Reyes, and his average of 90.1 rushing yards per game ranks behind only Joe Morris and Larry Sanka. The three-time college All-American went on to a Hall of Fame career as a professional with the Denver Broncos. Little was just as exceptional in the pros, where he was the number six overall pick in 1967. He played nine seasons in the NFL and retired in 1975 as the league's number seven all-time rusher. He is a member of both the college and pro football halls of fame, and his number was retired by both Syracuse and the Denver Broncos. Little's statue stands outside the football team's practice facility. Little had attended SU at the same time as President-elect Joe Biden, who gave Little and his family a personal tour of the White House when he served as vice president. In his later years, before his cancer diagnosis, Little left a second unique mark at the school by returning to Syracuse. In 2011, Little began a five-year stint where he served as special assistant to the athletic director and a beloved ambassador for the football team and athletic department. He also received an honorary doctorate from the school. One of the school's greatest football players became the school's biggest cheerleader. During his return to Syracuse, he mentored athletes, he signed books, he charmed fans, donors, and recruits. He supported everything Orange. When Little's cancer became public, Syracuse University Athletic Director John Wildhack said, in this battle, he will have all of Orange Nation by his side. The truth is, he always did. Little died this week. He was 78 years old.